All right, so I put this propane tank in here today. This is a reminder, if you have any empty propane tanks, you know, you swap them out for a fresh one, toss that one into a corner, make sure you get it refilled. Either refill it or go swap it. But don't leave empty tanks, you need them full. Again, not knowing where we're headed with supply or prices. So capture the prices now and the supply and you won't ever run out. So that's just a quick reminder. Make sure you get your, your propane tanks, guys. Fill them up, swap them out. Uh, so let's get into it. My name's Jerry. I live just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And I went shopping and we're gonna talk about some stuff. Uh, first of all, toilet paper, because you know what that was like. Just always double check, say, as you've been using it. Remember, it's been a few months. So you've gone through some toilet paper. Take a check, take a peek, where are you? Uh, don't don't ever get in that position again. And I, I love I love being prepared and, and having plenty of toilet paper. I never have to worry if they do another run on toilet paper. Let them have it. It's all theirs. So other little things that I'm grabbing. I'm just kind of throwing stuff up here. Um, we'll talk about some things. Uh, Diet Pepsi's, Diet Mountain Dews, all the those types of bottled up drinks. Couldn't get any. So I have. Uh, some still stocked up, not a whole lot. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to find some more Diet Pepsis for House of Prep here. Uh, sports drinks, Gatorades, we've talked about these before. This is that grape one. This one, and a lot of you have kind of testified that the grape ones tend to be the hardest ones to find, uh, this is the Grape Zero. So I was super fortunate. Uh, every time that they put some out, I grab some so I never run out when I need them. I use them when, I, when I'm running, working out in the yard, uh, working out. I like to have some extra Gatorade or something different to drink. Some, you know, change of pace. Uh, Keystone meat, guys. So the beef, they hadn't had on the shelves in a while. They had the chicken, and that's about it. And my, my Walmart, that's locally here, that's the only one I can find usually is beef and chicken. Every once in a while, maybe turkey. So all they had been having was chicken. So they had beef, so I grabbed an extra can. Um, it's just, remember, it's methodical. We're just practice what you preach, right? So, you know, some of you may still not be totally familiar with this. We haven't talked about it in a while. Um, so it is fully cooked, all right? There's, it says no water added, no water added, no preservatives. So checking out the back, what they do is, look, the ingredients are super simple here. Okay, let's move this just so you can see it here. Beef, sea salt. That's it. There's still the fat still in here. Uh, when you open the can up, we've done a, a review on a couple of these different ones from Keystone. Um, so it is a 28 ounce, which is almost two pounds. So counting the liquid, a little bit of fat, the meat, you have almost two pounds here. Okay. So for like eight bucks. And, you know, typically, you know, you're like, well, I can get, you know, hammer meat on sale, this and that, you know, maybe I can can it, you know, I could do stuff. This was just a quick grab and go. You know, the best buy date on this thing, you can see is 10 one 26. See that on there real good. So you get a good five years. And that's obviously, you know, could, could be extended. It could go beyond five years. Just to you know, do the taste, smell, sight, and you're good to go on canned goods. But as long as you're rotating those, if you got a stockpile, which uh, some of you do, <laughs> I think you've bought most of the Keystone in America, but Dave, but no. <laughs> but but seriously. That's just a quick grab and go and I'm done. I don't have to pull out a canner. I don't have to pull out anything. And I mean, I, you can save maybe, you know, a few cents here and there on it, but I didn't have to do any time. I, I, my time, you know, I work a lot of hours. My wife works, uh, we're busy. So that's just easy. If you're in that boat, that's a quick grab and you can throw it in the cabinet, put your date on it. Remember, practice what I preach, get the marker, uh, write it on the front, write it on the top. Uh, the date so it's easy to see and keep them rotated. That's it guys. Easy easy peasy So a week ago I scored some of these so I went 
And sure enough, they had another small flat of them. So I grabbed a couple more. Like I said, I'm not there to wipe them out because I knew other people are wanting these for Thanksgiving and the holidays and Christmas and things coming up. But I like to have them too. So I make sure as I'm using one or whatever, I always grab one to replace and then one to add to the preps. Um, that's not always what I do, but in this instance, that's what I did. So canned goods, they were in better shape today. So more green beans, um, you know, even the soups, they had this one sometimes hard to find, the beef with vegetable soup, the great value. It's like a buck and change, it's super easy, and it's actually pretty tasty too. They had corn today, and I saw other people grabbing it. And again, with, you know, the holidays coming up, making your famous corn casserole or whatever you're doing as a side, um, if you see it, go ahead and get it. Get stocked up on your, your holiday stuff, guys. Yeah, turkeys, I think it's my thumbnail. Uh, turkeys, they had turkeys today at Walmart. And I haven't asked Joy, she'll, she'll stop at our HG Hills, Aldi's. Uh, we have a Kroger's. Um, I need to stop by Kroger's this week and check them out and just see what's going on. Uh, but right now, turkeys, but you saw the price. That's the cheapest that they had in the store was at, I think it was $1.48. So stock it up on canned goods. Now, sometimes of these, I think we've talked about these in, it's been a while. Uh, Glory Foods. They make a good brand. And I know you guys like these and there's some other good brands out there. Um, it just changes it up. It's, they just have a different way they season it and they style it up. Some cream corn, they have the fried apples, which is kind of a, just a little tasty side treat. Uh, some people, you know, when you heat these up, put a little scoop of ice cream on there, maybe some cinnamon, you know, use it as a pie filling. So there's all kinds of cool little things you can do with that. So those are just always something neat to share whenever, uh, you know, I'm trying something new or getting something new. I like to share it, uh, give you guys the opportunity to try it. Uh, you know, just grabbing stuff that we use and how we're making tacos or chilies and stuff. You know, having plenty of cheese on hand. Uh, the turkey cheddar. Sometimes we get the beef of the Johnsonville, the brats type things, the, the beef ones. And I saw today they had the turkey smoked sausage you know with cheddar so it is a little less fat and you know it's turkey supposed to be a little healthier for you so um i was thankful to go ahead and grab a pack of those while they had it bacon still about 650 a pack and i remember you know this last a handful of months ago a year i was getting them for like five bucks a pack in my area so i'm just once again back up all right, let's talk steak. Look what I found, guys. I got two of them here. Let me get them out of their wrapper. Steaks. <clears throat> so, I wanted some steak. And I always hate paying the regular price. It's hard to find any type of discount stickers anymore. Okay, let's, let's take a little trip here. Let's go up here. So normally it was 20 bucks, okay? Uh, 12 bucks a pound, okay? This is New York Strip. So you can see I've got to use it or freeze it by the date there. And then because of that, they had some of these on the shelf. You only saved a couple bucks. But I'll, t I'll grab it. I'll take it, you know? It's worth it to me uh, because I would really like to have some steak grilled grilled out steak here it's been a minute since i've grilled some steak so i was like you know we'll use it so i can put it in the video to show you what their prices are and then the opportunity to save a couple bucks um you know and i'll have a nice dinner coming from it i already got plenty of sides maybe some of that cream corn will go good with it so that's the meat prices yeah they had ribeyes and some prices were up to like 20 dollars a pound for the angus meats and things. I'm like, $20 a pound? Are you kidding me? And they said, nope, we're not kidding. So last but not least, if you stuck through the video, <laughs> usually I'll whip out a, a big old pack of double stuffed Oreos. And I've been trying to limit myself on those, but every once in a while when I'm getting a hankering for a snack, 
Uh, Got to get some snacks, right? So nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with having some treats, some feel-good foods, uh, as long as you watch your health and you're not overindulging on this stuff, you're good to go, all right? At least that's what my doctor told me. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. Um, like I said, we got right into this video because there was stuff to talk about. And let me know, jump in the comments. This is Thursday. Uh, jump in the comments, give me your updates. Let me know uh, how your area is looking. Um, whether you just want to say your state or your city. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about the fuel, the food, you know, things that are shrinking, prices going up. Um, this is the time of week that we do that, and it's very interesting to go back and reread all the comments after a lot of people have gotten the comment. So, so you guys take care. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will definitely catch you guys later on. Bye now.